Hey, top of the YouTube to you. This is Joe Gilder from homestudiocorner.com slash presonus. Go there to get more free Studio One videos. In this video, I'm going to go over, and, and this is going to start some of the new in this series, these next several videos. We'll go over a lot of the new features in Studio One that I love. Now, I'm not going to go into every new feature they've ever introduced because, again, if you've watched this series all the way through, you know I'm showing you how I use Studio One. So if there are features that are really awesome that I just don't personally use in my home studio, then I, I'm not going to show them because I don't use them, right? So I'm hoping that the things that I do use... Uh, we'll, I'll be able to show to you in a way that's really helpful and will give you more ideas of how you can really exploit all the awesomeness that is inside Studio One. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. The feature I'm going to talk about today is the Arranger track. This thing is cool. When I first saw it, I knew, hmm, this might be a game changer for me. So I'm used to having a marker track, right, where you can go through and I can add in V1, Verse 1, and you can add these little flag-looking deals to make your verse, chorus, whatever. And that's how you do it in Pro Tools or anywhere else usually. And you've got it. But you can't really do much else with these except for just use them as markers and drag them around, right? It's just a little flag that says, hey, here's where the chorus starts or whatever. So you can get there quickly. Um, and they're useful and helpful. But they've kind of upped the game with this arranger track. So you click on this button to open it up. And now you've got a lane here that you actually fill up with your sections of the song. So it's the same idea as markers, but there's a lot more you can do with it. And I've only begun to scratch the surface, so I'm sure I'll be putting out videos in the future where I've really um, gone on a deep dive into this. But let me quickly show you what it'll look like when it's done, and then I'll show you how to do it. So here's a song where I have set up the arranger track with each section laid out. Okay? And when you have these sections done, it's not just a rote thing to just have there to have. It's nice to have it there for organization, and you can quickly get to different places in the song visually. That's important, but there's a couple other cool reasons why you might want to do that. But first, let me show you how to set these up, and I'll show you some of those other cool reasons in the next video or two. So once you have the arranger track, there's nothing here. Okay, You can click and drag, nothing happens. So the one thing you got to do, switch over to the paint tool. Or is a pencil tool? Looks more like a pencil than a paintbrush. I'm just going to be honest. And then you can draw in the sections of the song. So let's say if this is the intro. Okay, that's where the song starts. So we'll, we'll just click and drag here. And I can see the vocal starts singing here. So that's probably the intro right there. And look at that. It labels it intro. And this is probably, I'm going to go with this is the verse. It labeled it verse. It's going to think this is a chorus. It is a chorus. Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever heard? Um, and then what does it say here? Bridge. Okay, so it was wrong there. But it was pretty cool that it guesses somewhat of the way through. I don't know who does a bridge right after the first chorus. That, maybe they can change that later. Um, but now I've got these sections, okay? Um, and if you want to change them, switch back to the pointer tool. You just double click. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Huh, I was wrong. That's one of the cool features. Double clicking on one of the sections automatically zooms your screen to that section. That's super cool. And then if you press Z, it jumps you back to kind of the previous zoom you were at. So if I want to see intro, boom, and then Z, boom, back out. Ooh, no, Z, Z went to there. There we go. I guess Z goes to your previous zoom position. Either way, super cool. Uh, but to open up, to, to be able to change these, you got to come over here and open up your inspector window. And that opens up this little arranger deal. And here they all are right here. So if you're using, if you're using the arranger system pretty heavily, then you'll probably want to have this window open most of the time. So over here, you can double click really quickly and add in whatever you need as you go through. So let's see. So the chorus starts there. And again, this is an unfinished song that, uh, that I'm, I've only got a drum loop and some guitar. So you may see this one come to life a little bit more in future videos. But one of the cool things... One of the great things about Studio One, they've really upped their game. Nobody likes to come up here and click on different tools, right? It's not fun. It's not intuitive. And you can remember some of the shortcuts. I'm pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the, on the top of my keyboard here, numbers 1 through 5. And that's somewhat helpful. But they've gone a step further. Depending on where you're holding the mouse, when you press Command, it changes. So out here, I've shown you this before, it changes to the... Uh, the marquee sort of tool. Up here, when you're hovering over the arrange window, guess what? 
it turns into the pencil. So you don't have to switch to the pencil tool. Just hold down command. And you can draw things in. If you let go, then you can drag the ends out. Important point, while you're setting these up, don't click and drag. I'll show you that in another video. You'll mess things up pretty quickly if you do it that way. Um, so this is going to be a chorus. Next. It goes to here, and then there's an instrumental bridge sort of thing that goes about that far. We'll call that solo. That's what they call an instrumental bridge here in Nashville. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, and then here's the actual bridge, um, which goes to yeah, right here. So as you can see, I'm, I I shouldn't actually walk you through this. You can you're you're a big boy or girl. You can do this yourself, but um, I just thought it'd be fun to do together. And this is a down chorus. Okay, this song is going to be so much bigger once there's real drums. Trust me, we've already tracked them and they sound amazing. Um, and we'll drag that out and then we're into, you guessed it, the outro. Okay, so now we have all this set up. It looks beautiful. If we come in here and zoom out, which a quick way to do that is click on a region, command A to select all the regions, and then option Z will kind of zoom out to whatever you have in the session. It's almost perfect, not quite. Um, but you can see I've got all my sections mapped out, and I can quickly see how the song goes. And it's a lot more intuitive than having this V1 here and then having another marker right here. Um, they mark the beginning, but this actually shows you the whole section, and that will come in handy in the next video, so be sure to check that out. In the meantime, if you want to sign up or check out all my other Studio One videos, head over to homestudiocorner.com presonus. Thanks for watching. My name is Joe Gilder. See you soon.